Were you hurt by the vote? Did it, it had to sting a little bit, right? Well, yeah. That's, I, I understand politics and I understand that they've gotten a, a nomination, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to lose, I'm going to win this. Well, we're just working, taking the message to the people about redemption and opportunities. And when a person's paid his debt back to society, they ought to be free. Because felons are people too. And they need jobs. You know, the sad part is that 90% of all these shootings and killings in our city are because those guys have felonies. So there's no work, so we force them to live a life of crime. And so I want to create an opportunity to sponge records and to have people working. Well, it's not a matter of forgive and forget. When I'm up in Hartford, one of the things I advocate for, ex-offenders, and um, I'm all for people getting their lives back together because that's what I do up in Hartford. And um, I believe that people shouldn't um, be blamed for the rest of their lives. But the thing of it is, I'm not about to believe that I should give, give up my job for somebody to, to, to do that, you know. Listen, people make mistakes in their life. But nobody can say I wasn't a good legislator and fought hard for this city and its residents, for, for Bridgeport and Stratford. What assurance can you give uh, the voters? The assurance is this. I'm willing to fight for the causes that affect our people. Since I've been home, I've been in the marches, I've led marches, and we need a voice that's going to fight for us. I want to say to the voters this, as long as you ask me the question on that, I've been there for seven years. I've been every day on the job for seven years. Every day we're in session. But also, my record speaks for itself and other people's record speaks for them. So that's all I have to say on that.